Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV. Jenny, JD, Erin, and Kat. So, we're back to the wheel. The wheel. Mm. Anyone that's just joined watching us the first time is like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> it's been a really long time. And also the wheel is now with us, so we'd have to go, the wheel. Yeah, but it used to be in a direction. Is that creepy? It's I can't there. Tell it's creepy no, could I just <laughs> make a small point that nobody on the TV knew that? So you could have just left it over there and they wouldn't have known, would they? Well it's then, true. but before, why are we pointing to it before? We could have literally pointed to anywhere. I can't give a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Damn your logic. <laughs> Your trickery. <laughs> so for anyone that is brand new, welcome. We, um, in between other like Patreon requests and things like that, we spin a wheel. The wheel has different categories and then we choose, Kat and I choose what video we're going to watch of BTS from those categories. So yeah, um, that's how we're, that's what we're talking about when we talk about the wheel. Mm-hmm. And to prove it, I'm going to insert the clip of us spinning said wheel. <laughs> Yeah. Jay yes! Ho! Come on! And we're back. <laughs> back to the room, back to the room. <laughs> if you're still watching, thanks. <laughs> like, this is a mess. Oh, yeah. So, Kat has spun her second bias, Rekka. Where are we with Jay Hope right now? I think we're still at Rekka stage. Oh, don't lie. Oh, I smell <laughs> the denial. You do not see the, like, the dirty <laughs> smell. Smirk on her face. She's yeah, like, and I can enjoy you squirming over this. <laughs> Can't believe you would do that to Jimmy. <laughs> yes, yes. Can I just actually? I'd like to point out. So, Cat has chosen fantastic choice, of course. Just Dance. Um, now, Just Dance doesn't have an MV, so we're going to watch the performance of one of the days at Wembley. Now, just like there. to say, just FYI. No, I wonder what you're going to say. <laughs> Cat and I were there. But what's really interesting is I wonder if now watching this, you're going to be like, oh my god, I was so close to him. Because it didn't hit you the same then as it would now. No, for sure. So, that'd be interesting. Uh, but yeah, no, so, um, just, just Dance is, is a song. Fucking pot over there. Just so disappointed. Do you know what? I feel like we need. We need hey, a like. Monica, this is Kettle. You're black. <laughs> and the other is just. I feel like we need like a little cat cam. I'm like I, I want to watch there, but I'm like yeah. I want to watch <laughs> there. So I've got a good ear. My ear can tell me. Where are you on records? Oh, that's not. Good. Are you sure you want to start this conversation? <laughs> Because this going to be confession time. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. <laughs> please, please, let's go along the line. So, you started this. <laughs> v, obviously bias. Um, gin, I like to pay some attention to. Re- Rekka? Gin, Rekka? I don't second like bias. to commit. Or second oh, bias. I, we, I've, the thing is, I was away for a little bit. So mm. I feel like I'm rediscovering everyone again. Mm. Starting again. I like it. Good idea. Yeah. Okay, every and by the way, no judgment here. The more the merrier. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, gin. Mm. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, J Hope. We had a. It's because we had quite a few videos. And... You got Savage J Hope. Oh, yeah, it killed me. Angry oh, J Hope. Oh, Angry my God. God. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like. Um. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the ciphers. I like you can't. Not have Jimin around. Mm-hmm. Jimin is to, everyone's right. Yeah, he has mm-hmm. to live everywhere, and RM's leader. So I will always be respectful and take. Don't make him. excuses for your seat on the O train. <laughs> um, so I am still RM bias. Always have been. He's my boomer. Everything. Um, and they're all my wreckers. That's why seven days in a week. Who's the wreckeriest of wreckers? It literally changes because I'm on that whole train, and I'm proud. Today, so who's I'm your just like, wreckeriest wrecker? Oh, I don't know. We'll have to watch some more videos because this is this is the first. Well, this is the first one. So it's going to be J Hope right now, um, literally. And what was it you were just saying a minute ago about me having probably commitment? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm the same on record though because it depends on the week. It's like they all get a turn. Yeah, it's only fair. Yeah. So how many biases do you have? So Jenny. Okay, I'm still Sugar JK, and then I have my record line of V Jimin and RM. When did I get in there? Really? Yeah. Because that's not what you told me in the week. <laughs> oh! I didn't tell you anything. See how her voice just goes up really yeah. high? I think Jenny's bias line has gone up by one. And it is a member with a single letter name. 
No, 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 no. That's not what I said. I didn't say that. I said solid wrecker. I don't. I said solid wrecker. I'll, I'll find the message. I'll find the message. I said solid wrecker. If it was only solid wrecker, and then, they didn't then have a, they why didn't was it? Have a why was it? Name, so? a free letter name. Why was it? Oh, this is okay. So you can explain yeah, that. But yeah. why? Why was it so? Don't tell Erin. <laughs> if it's just a wrecker, why is it so? Don't tell Erin. It's just been a problem for a few weeks. <laughs> I mean, it's been a problem for a lot longer than a few weeks, hasn't it? I think we can, you can all attest to this. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not talking about him when he's on stage and in full makeup and... Your face changes when you go into your justifications, which is so funny. Yeah, but it's not this. It's It's not. It's it's, it's okay. It's when he's off stage, he's got like his messy hair, no makeup, and he's just thinking... Cute, Cute. (gasps) What's happened to me? I told you this would happen. No, but I keep talking about cute. Mm Mm-hmm. That's all I said. Why are you struggling? Jane J.D. never <laughs> You were supposed to help me. Not she threw me under the bus. She was not giving me help. I was like, you I literally messed it up. Don't drag me into your shit. Don't bring me into this. <laughs> I mean... <sighs> Although, to be fair, if we're going to go full confessional, what I asked her to help me with was, can you help me push Erin towards Jim <laughs> so I can take you. Thank you. She said Thank yes, you. though. <laughs> no, I didn't! <laughs> now I would like to see these messages. Oh, my God. No, what I said was, <laughs> oh, oh, if I don't have him, I'll never be truly happy. And you're my friend. Don't you want me to be happy? <laughs> she, she's just sending all of these, like, trying to manipulate, manipulate, manipulate. And I was just like, don't try that shit with me. I'll see you. And what you need to be fully aware of here is that we all know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It doesn't work and you've lost your power. Thanks for that. I'll have my revenge. <laughs> what revenge? You've taken all of our mans. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, maybe my record is RM. I will have my Everyone's record is RM. Have you seen him this week? <laughs> Man yeah. is looking thick. Yes. Anyway, this and is huge. This video isn't about me. It's about J-Hope. It is. Cops. Soon to be Jenny's. Newest. I did pick him Bias first. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So it's J Hope. It's um song called Just Dance. It's from 2018 from their Love Yourself Answer album. Um, and in that album, actually, it's it's quite funny because where we've had um the Map of the Soul albums, we had the three um songs for from from, from Carl Jung's philosophy about uh, shadow, ego, and persona. It's actually in the Love Yourself Answer album, there were three trivia tracks as well, and it was RM Sugar Seesaw. and J Hope as well. It was Seesaw. RM's is Trivia Love, which we haven't watched yet, and then this is Trivia Just Dance. Um, so, again, written by J Hope, um, and it's, uh, as anything, open to interpretation, but he um, is talking about those feelings that you get when you have discovered something or someone that you are suddenly on the beginning of the path of sort of falling in love with someone or something. So it's a real happy song. I'm interested to see which J-Hope we get because I automatically go into expecting it to be an upbeat song, Mm -hmm. a happy song with a lot of his dance Mm. just because that's how I see J-Hope. But obviously we know there is also the hard-hitting, angry J-Hope. Although this is why I have the reverse because I thought Ego was going to be the like, bra. And now this I expect to be, if it is the beginning to love, to be like, all like, cutesy cutesy. And I was, I wasn't disappointed that Ego wasn't rough, because obviously, I love it. I mean, I love it. But I was a bit taken aback. So now if this one's flipped, I'll also be really confused. So I kind of do hope it's a bit up and bubbly and... I th- yeah, I think it. Uh, we'll watch it obviously and find out, see what you guys think. But yeah, I, th- I think it meets the intention. Um, and like we said, where music is open to interpretation the feeling and what he talks about, it can be, yeah, like I said, the, the, the discovering first feelings of falling in love with something, dancing, his love of dancing, or someone. Um, maybe some me. people have said maybe army. Or cat, apparently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's me. It's a really dangerous one to be playing us, like, how my Piper was supposed to put He's us off to them. Me. Yeah. yeah. That's Uh-oh. It. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe on our Patreon, we're like a month ahead and we have dance practices and Gaio and 0.25 speed reactions. Again, I'll just put it out there. BTS at 0.25 speed, not us. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like six Slow motion long. reactions. Ooh.
We have social media links here and there, and a PO box in the description. Send us postcards of where you're from. stage isn't it that's literally in the middle of the stage out of it is it moving yeah all the different blocks move oh, the the yeah I didn't tell Kat that was happening. <laughs> and we all got covered in water. <laughs> Jenny is always after a cold shower. I didn't tell Kat that was happening, that the water was coming out. So, um, <laughs> so it just took me a surprise. It was good. It was much needed, yeah. It was like hot. And you're like, oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you guys had really good seats then. Yeah, yeah. it's brilliant. That's really the good. level. They cost us a lot of money. That's fine. 
I went both days. So on the first day, I was higher up with some other friends. Uh, so I saw everything. And then second day, I was down on the ground with Kat. Other, 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 other army friends. They were army that I met when I went to the concert by myself in 2018 at the O2. Okay, that's cute. I'll allow you yeah. that. And then we messaged and she was like, shall we go? So yeah, it's good. So, I... I do like the song, but I didn't love it instantly like I did with Ego. Mm-hmm. I think I prefer Ego. They were less of a hook. Yeah, for... but I think it's definitely one I could be listening to and I'd be like, well, no, well, no. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It, it will grow yeah. on you. And sure. I do feel like, actually, that's one that maybe I'd like it louder. Mm. If I had it really loud, yeah. I think I'd be more... Yeah, it is a song that it does give you that vibe, makes you want to move. Everyone was just... And there was thing. less dancing from him than I expected mm. or maybe not to the level I expected I felt like that was very much the song and the dancing within his comfort zone like yeah. it was very I was not say easy it wouldn't be easy for most people but for him it felt effortless yeah like yeah. he could just, just be like just done it around. and yeah. yeah well it has I think a very cool vibe to it which, you know what I mean it's very cool cool cucumber I mean, but definitely very suave cool. yeah no one wears glasses like BTS no <laughs> you could like run like an Ibiza beach club kind of thing and just oh, you know, oh, around <laughs> yeah it's like a really cool I almost want to say like you look like a bit of a pimp but like yeah, a nice like, pimp yeah. you got everything you need at your table yeah, oh, Lizzie, I'll really over here. Smart, yeah. <laughs> but um, no you're right I think that to be honest because the amount of jumping and interaction and that he wanted to do if he did more choreo, he wouldn't have been able to yeah. sing as much. But that's why there is another one of his tracks that we're going to hopefully eventually watch, which is called Boy Meets Evil, which is where you will get to see more of his dancing. We will hopefully eventually. Not hopefully. No, it we're will, watching it will, that. It I've will. seen a still from she's, that. She's seen the... Uh, I'm watching it. Clip if, if you're not going to let me watch on here, I'll go and watch it now. <laughs> Jenny, let's go. <laughs> but he does do more dancing, yeah, I promise you. But yeah, I could see why he had to have a balance of both there yeah, to yeah. be able to perform the song. And also, if you, again, you're saying like the concerts, however long they are, you can't go all out on everything yeah, on all the pace yourself. Also, then I'd be upset probably if I went through the whole thing and I'm like, but he didn't come and wave at me or mm. anything like that. Well, no, there's nothing wrong with being within your comfort zone when it works and that works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that he says, "My love," mm. and I just need to snip that little audio a bit mm-hmm. and just keep playing that. Cause so she's kind of giving you a look. My love. <laughs> Is that on your phone? Just blowing Yeah, text and it goes. No, she's giving you that smile of <laughs> I keep talking, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love the stage as well. It was it's so so good. It's always so impressive when you can see and not everybody does this. Some concerts they don't necessarily use the stage in that way. Maybe you're more of a band or whatnot, but they literally have almost like props and they use the stage and the lighting at the background and everything. Very creative. It's really creative. So I love the fact that he had those blocks that were a stage and they were this one flat platform that he could dance across and then they moved and he was using them as like steps to jump up and down. I'm glad he just used them as steps and came down because when they were uneven I thought, oh no, we don't need to dance on Oh those. yeah, it was he would have, me. He would have practised. Oh yeah, yeah, I know he would have managed still, it. It still would have worried it just, me. Mm. I was like, oh God, they're moving. Um, Obviously, we got the really nice aerial view and we could see the pattern and him dancing across mm. it from that view. Is that what they would have projected on the screens? They change. I think um, because you get camera operators walking around with them that, like on the, the body cam, so they're still, and then the guys perform to those cameras and they come up. So the big screens kind of, they change which camera feeds yeah. going into them, actually. So, so it would be so seen, so yeah. I see some of them. Obviously, we've watched it like this, so we've seen that really good visual mm. but the, obviously you you wouldn't get that to be honest the 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 worst thing is like at the concerts is like you were saying you want to be a spider you want to have so many sets of eyes because i want to look at the screen which is capturing lots of stuff on through the cameraman which i may not capture myself but at the same time it's like i cannot take your eyes off it because we were so close that you you just literally can see them so yeah. i was like I, I don't want to remove my naked eyes from his body i think <laughs> i might pass out you know and you're like i'm i already feel so when I saw them the first time at the at the O2 yeah. in 2018, I had really good seats. It was so close. Um, I could not believe how attractive they are in real life, in the flesh. Like literally, you know when you see photos of people and you're like, they're photoshopped. You yeah. know that, but you and know they're still going to be they're still yeah. going to be gorgeous. But you know, no, no, they really are. And you're just like, oh my god, you are like gods. <laughs> Also, you lose your voice with him about the first three songs at the concert. You can tell yourself. Yeah. I almost don't want him to be so popular. 
<laughs> You're like, can all of you fuck off so I can yeah. get tickets? Oh. <laughs> I did actually have some other constructive things to say about the performance, but for the life of me, I, I can't remember them now. Oh. I liked when they, when you were chanting J Hope and he was like, hey, take yeah. see a piece out. That and was very cute. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I think all of them were really, um, each of them when they did their solo. And obviously, when you've got the group numbers, you've got the fan chants and that. Yeah. But each of them, when they did their solo at the concert, we chanted the shit out of their names. They were, I think they were a little bit taken aback at the, as it were, the power of the voice of Wembley. Again, there's like, you know that like fa- fans in Brazil are really, really passionate. And whenever you see their concert footage, they're so involved, which is awesome. And around America, they're really, really good. But um, like I said, because this was their first time doing Wembley Stadium over these two days, I think it did take them a little bit by surprise. They weren't sure how yeah. th- these fans would, would do it. They had an experience with the O2, but that's an arena, so it was slightly smaller. So this was their first huge scale thing. And yeah, we chanted the shit out and of their name. I think we took them by surprise. Let's not forget <laughs> that the reputation that British people have is about being reserved. That's what I mean, polite. yeah. Like British. <laughs> We're not reserved. We're definitely not polite. We don't yell. Yes, we, we do. do. I mean, we have certain rules. Like, you don't talk to people on the tube. Yeah. <laughs> we don't talk to each other. I don't know. The energy of the concerts is like it's it's like electric. It's definitely an energy. Yeah. It's wicked. So, I'm worried I'll cry, and I don't. You know I don't cry. The girl next but, to us cried, and she she was a gym in Stan, and she like literally um, it was serendipity, wasn't it? And she was like, <laughs> no, I, I, oh, I no, cried I <laughs> when Westlife came on stage when I hadn't seen them in so long, and they came back, and I just burst oh. into tears. I cried at Britney. I was there on my own as well. I'm not a crier at concerts. I'm. I'm. I, I'm people I didn't are different. think I was. No, people are different. <laughs> However, we did nearly cry, didn't we? Because we did. We were there on the day when we sang "Young Forever" to BTS and made them all cry. So then I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> nearly couldn't get teary, but yeah, that was that was special, and we will react to that. Were they crying because it was like, oh. no, <laughs> no, no, they were crying because it was very significant for army to sing that to them and then performing at Wembley is like a monumental moment in their career the so time. yeah cool. anyway yeah J-Hope just has it just oozes happiness charisma doesn't it? as yeah. well yeah. likability yeah mm. uh, you you know there are some people that you think you could go up to anyone and they'd be like Oh hey, mm. and he draws that out. I feel that's like that's why when, light when we had the energy. conversation about if you were going to put BTS on like British TV shows to get the British public interested in them as people and see who they are to then investigate BTS, mm. and I said I would pick J Hope to do things like the Jungle, even though he said the Jungle's not for J Hope because he's so likable. Not that the others aren't, but he you can instantly. One smile from Joe Hope and you're like, I like that guy. He has a very, Don't even know what it yeah. is, I like him. He has a very infectious energy, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. And putting him in a situation with other people, that I think they'd all like him. Mm. Something you'd fall, everyone would fall in love with him. It's true. It's inevitable. I don't think... I, like, I know we see him, like, angry in, like, some bits, but I don't know if I could see him, like, genuinely angry. I think he'd be a bit of a sulker if he was genuinely angry. I couldn't see an outburst. I could see more of a, like, no, just not even gonna. And you know, because he's like, instead of like, hello, you yeah. get, hi. And yeah, he'd be like, mm. like, oh my God, what have I done? I'm so sorry. He'd be like, the world is ending. No, he'd be the whole, I'm like, angry, I'm disappointed. He would break you with that. That is the worst. Mm. Okay, so that was J-Hope Just Dance. Uh, Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.